Towering mountains and an untouched landscape as far as the eye can see. In this edition of Macedonian Life, we'll discover an idyllic countryside and learn about traditional fishing on Lake Doiran. But first, a hike through the Matka Canyon, descending into its mystical cave. Just 30 minutes from the capital, Skopje lies a jewel of Macedonian nature, the Matka Canyon. It's one of the locals' favorite outdoor destinations and has a rich flora and fauna. The Matka Canyon is home to a wide variety of animals and plants, some of which are endemic species. You can only find them here. The name Matka means womb, creation of life. The atmosphere is somehow mystical and full of positive cosmic energy. People feel really relaxed when they come here. The Tresca River meandering lazily through the canyon is a majestic sight. Among the many hidden treasures here, the famous Vrelo Cave. Millions of years of erosion have produced this geological marvel, carving out weird and wonderful stalactites. But the most stunning part lies underwater. Experts believe it could be the deepest underwater cave in the world. Kiro Angeleski was the first Macedonian diver to explore it. When you enter the darkness, it's like going into another world. It's a tense feeling and you're extremely concentrated because there's no room for mistakes when you're diving in a dark cave. Kiro took part in a special international expedition four years ago. Exploring the cavernous interior, world-famous Italian cave diver Luigi Casati set a new record going to a depth of 212 meters. When I dive in this underwater cave, I always have mixed feelings, all at the same time. Fear, happiness, joy and excitement. Back in daylight, we make our way to another enchanting place, the Doiran Lake on the border with Greece. Although the country's smallest tectonic lake is only 10 meters deep, it's brimming with life. It's considered one of Europe's most life-rich lakes, teeming with 15 different types of fish. Tama Baltakov has lived in Doiran all his life. The 82-year-old worked for over 40 years as a fisherman. Now he's passing on his knowledge. A fisherman on his own can't be a fisherman. You always need to be two. It's teamwork. One is throwing the net into the water and the second one is rowing. We have to pull in the net with 30 to 80 kilos of fish and then we take the catch back to the hut. In the winter, some fish are still caught in the traditional way, using birds such as cormorants. The fish flee before the diving birds and swim towards the nets. Today, Georgi Stoyanov fishes the modern way. In the evenings, we go out onto the lake and throw the nets into the water, and the next day, before sunrise, we pull the nets up. We take them to the hut, clean the fish, and prepare the nets for the next catch. Georgi goes out on the lake every day, not always an easy task. The life of the fisherman is hard because during the winter we have wind and ice and during the summer we're working in the heat. But I like that very much and it gives me a lot of energy. Our journey is now at an end. It has taken us through the world of Macedonian cuisine to the ancient city of Orid, passing through the natural paradise of the Matka Canyon and Lake Doiran. We hope you enjoyed this adventure. If you'd like to see any of our reports again, check out our website. Thanks for watching.